Well, <laughs> the indie fans, the AEW fans, they're losing their shit. Guys, I'm finally back with the studio set up. As you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Heel Nation. Today, we're going to be talking about Cody Rhodes, The Rock, and how ticket sales are through the roof. Just saying, y'all were wrong. I was right. Nobody wants to see Stardust in the main event of WrestleMania over The Rock. I get it. You indie folks would love to see Nick Gage and, and, and Zack Ryder in the main event. It's because you're fucking stupid. I'm JB Gunner. This is Heel Nation. Let's do it. What the fuck? Everybody, as you guys know, I'm JB Gunner, and this is Heel Nation. Um, good to be back with you guys. It's been a while um, since I've been able to properly do a video. As you guys know, I'm doing a documentary, A Thousand Days in Paradise, where I visit all the amusement parks all over the country. Then I'm going hiking on two major hiking trails. Then I'm in the RV traveling across the whole country. But I'm still going to be putting out content for you guys. I love y'all, especially if you're part of the Gun Squad. You can do that by hitting the links down below. Big shout out to the people that do support the channels, regardless of which channel it is, whether it's this one or my news or whatever. Uh, thank you. Big shout out to you guys. Love you guys so much. Uh, if you guys want to find out some of those other content, whether it be my amusement parks, my gaming, which I'll be going hard on WWE 2K24 coming out in March, I believe March 6th. I'm going to have some good times on the gaming channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this right here. Because look, man, I want to elaborate a little bit more on something that I said. Look, I have no problem with Cody Rhodes. I think Cody Rhodes is great. I think he's the least talented of the three, Dusty, Dustin, and then Cody. Um, but I have no problem with Cody Rhodes. I loved him when he was dashing Cody Rhodes. I thought he was great when he was working the independents. But we're not talking about the independents now. We're talking about the big time. He's a mid-carder. And do I like his story and the, and the story he's telling with the Roman Reigns and the WWE title? Absolutely. And would I be okay with him someday possessing the WWE title? Absolutely. If The Rock was not involved, would I be okay with a rematch from last year's WrestleMania? Probably not. Because I don't want to see the same Royal Rumble year after year. The same WrestleMania year after year. And that is what we saw. This year's Royal Rumble did not look any different than last year's Royal Rumble. This year's WrestleMania is not going to look any different than last year's WrestleMania. But when you include The Rock versus Roman Reigns, which is the longer going storyline. The Bloodline storyline, it, it predates, it surpasses, it is bigger than the Cody Rhodes storyline, and all of us know it. It was just a few months ago, you guys were saying that the Bloodline storyline, maybe a year ago, six months ago, you guys were saying that this, the Bloodline storyline is the greatest storyline that we've gotten from the WWE in 20 years. And I agree. And now all of a sudden you want the WWE to drop the ball because you guys were under the impression that Cody Rhodes was going to main event WrestleMania. WWE never announced that. You heard that shit from Dave Meltzer. You heard that shit from the Sala Monster. You heard that shit from JD from NY206 or whatever the fuck his name is. You didn't hear that from anybody but these goddamn internet broadcasters, podcasters, shit like that. Nobody ever promised you Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. It's the truth. So you guys go to Raw, you bring out your We Want Cody signs, but what you don't understand is you guys are all being worked. This is all a swerve. Cody Rhodes is going to end up World WWE Champion. They're trying to uh, fraudulently turn him into Daniel Bryan, which the only Daniel Bryan since Daniel Bryan that existed was Sami Zayn. The WWE dropped the ball with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn could have been the next Daniel Bryan. Cody Rhodes is the next Daniel Bryan. The WWE is manufacturing this story, and you guys are falling for it hook, line, and sinker. Because you're marks. Your marks. We want Cody signs being handed out at Raw. The WWE is literally handing you signs that say hashtag we want Cody. And all of you guys are sucking the WWE's balls and falling for it because you're fucking marks. It's just the truth. There's no way around it. <laughs> and listen, I'm okay with that. 
I'm okay with you guys being marks, but make no mistake about it. You guys think this is this is somehow some sort of um, grassroots movement. And it's not. The WWE is playing you. The WWE is creating what you're doing right now. The decision to have The Rock potentially take Cody Rose's spot to face Roman Reigns for the undisputed title at WrestleMania was indeed generated significant backlash from the WWE loyal fan base. No, it hasn't. We Want Cody signs were on full display during the February 5th Raw, and, and all this was was signs that the WWE have gave you. You don't see that they're potentially on the path to make The Rock heal? The WWE handed y'all them signs. This is not a grassroots movement, dummy. <laughs> Fucking marks. Meanwhile, <clears throat> why is The Rock in the main event? The Ross. WrestleMania 40 controversy ignites ticket sales surge despite fan backlash. What does that mean? Just what I told you guys. This is about money, man. People, casual fans want to go see The Rock. They don't want to go see Cody Rhodes. And the thing about this is you, the loyal fan, you, the internet fan, because that's what you internet fans do, you're going to go watch it anyway just so you can come on here and complain and cry and whine about it. Cody Rhodes. So they're going to get you to buy. They're going to get you to go. They're going to get you to watch it anyway. Because what else you going to do? Watch AEW? Fuck no. But The Rock... Makes the casual fan want to go see it. Therefore, they're going to completely sell out. And all you people that were telling me that they were already sold out, well, how could that be possible if the WrestleMania 40 controversy ticket sales surge despite the backlash? How can that possibly be? They weren't sold out. They made a great decision here. Tonight's show, a couple of days ago, they had 7,600 tickets out. There are over 10,000 people here, there tonight. I mean, you don't move that many tickets from Friday to Monday. Okay, so this is raw. So whatever it is, people are buying this thing. So I want you to understand. Okay, so WrestleMania is sold out. But what you, WrestleMania, I forgot, is sold out. But ultimately, you still got Raws and Smackdowns and NXTs in the middle of it. You think it's just ironic? You think it's just uh, coincidence that Ava Rain is the general manager of NXT? Huh? The Rock and the Bloodline sell tickets. Look at the ticket sales that just went for Raw. So while all of you are complaining, you're still going to buy the tickets and you're still going to go boo. It is what it is because you want Stardust to be the man, the main event of WrestleMania. And I don't want to hear you sit and say that it's not Stardust anymore. It's Cody Rhodes. Yes, it is. Just like, just like Dustin Rhodes will always be gold dust. The American dream will always be the American dream. Look, man, you can't turn... Sh Look, there are certain people. Let me ask you something. Do you think with the average wrestling fan, Zack Ryder is Matt Cardona? No. I know who Matt Cardona is, but he will always be woo-woo-woo Zack Ryder to me. You can't change that. You can make Sasha Banks whoever, whatever you want to make that bitch. At the end of the day, she's still just Sasha Banks. She's not Mercedes Monet. Nobody cares about these people's... Brian Myers is, is not Brian Myers to most people. Kurt Hawkins, is that what his name was? You got to remember, most people, particularly wrestling fans, don't pay attention to y'all's indie wrestling. And that's what AEW is. Hell, Impact is better than that. But it doesn't matter. I ain't going to sit here and hate on AEW. Just because you fucking nerds ain't got shit better in the middle of the night to do than watch Japanese wrestling and shit doesn't mean your average wrestling fan watches that bullshit. And so, truth of this is, is The Rock is selling tickets. And guys, let me tell you why you're not going to get what you want. Let me tell you why you're not going to get what you want. Hold on, man. Where'd that fucking article go? God damn it. I just clipped off of it. Clicked off of it. But what I want you to know, the reason why you're not going to get what you want is because The Rock, I want you to understand, The Rock is going to make $30 million on this deal. The Rock is making $30 million. Sorry, I just clicked off the fucking article. Now I got to get back to it. The Rock is making $30 million on this TKO deal. I want you to understand this. Here we go. After more than a week of being surrounded by controversy, blah, 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 
In the latest episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer reported that The Rock earned a robust $30 million upon a group. Tell me when Cody Rhodes will ever earn $30 million. Upon agreeing to join TKO's board of directors, as well as agreeing to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for the title. Let me ask you guys a serious question. Why would TKO pay this man $30 million and demand that he wrestle in the main event of WrestleMania unless them, the business people, saw that it was best for business? $30 million is what The Rock got. Did Cody Rhodes even make $3 million this year? Serious question. Did Cody Rhodes even make $3 million this year? It's apples and oranges. Cody Rhodes is great. I love watching Cody Rhodes. But he's not the great one. He's not the rock. David Meltzer reported that Rock earned a robust $30 million upon agreeing to join TKO's board of directors, as well as the WrestleMania match. Agreed to in early January, this is before the Royal Rumble, so they booked Royal Cody to win the Royal Rumble, which means they have a plan, which means they're working you, Mark Smarks. Was arranged by both Nick Khan and Ari Emanuel, with Rock's prior relationships with both helping to pave the way towards an agreement. Beyond Khan Emanuel, many in the WWE were said to be unaware of The Rock's agreement to face Reigns. Yes, because they kept it secret. Now, everybody's talking about Cody Rhodes, like I said, being the next Daniel Bryan. Nope. You guys thought the same thing with Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn did not become the next Cody, the next Daniel Bryan, did he? But he was probably the one you should have made the next Daniel Bryan. Because here's the thing. when Co Cody Rhodes is already the top face in the company. The Rock is already the great one. When you beat Gunther, when you beat Roman Reigns, you should make new stars. For instance, when Ilya Dragunov, if that's who beats Gunther or Braun Breaker, you're going to create a new star. Now, something tells me they're going to try to fuck that up and give it to Jimmy Jey Uso. Jey Uso is already main event Jey Uso. I don't like him, but a lot of you guys do. He's already considered a star. Cody Rhodes is already considered a star. You're not making new stars by doing this. You should have created a star in Sami Zayn. You should have created a star in Chad Gable. It's only a, a few days since... Uh, listen, Cody Rose right here says, appreciate the passion, God bless y'all, but trust me, he's telling you right there you're being worked. Cody Rhodes is telling you there's nothing to worry about. He's saying, <coughs> trust him. Which goes back to what I said. It means he will finish the story. Cody Rhodes will finish the story, but the bloodline story has to finish first, dummies. No scenario is what they're saying in which The Rock doesn't work Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That's right, because they paid him $30 million goddamn dollars. Cody Rhodes will finish the story after The Rock and, Re and Roman have their WrestleMania match. And it's just really weird to me that some of you guys are so obsessed with Stardust that you want to see the same WrestleMania two years in a row. After seeing the same Royal Rumble two years in a row. PW Insider Elite is reporting that barring injury or unforeseen circumstances, The Rock is 100% performing in the ring at WrestleMania 40, and there's no scenario, none, that you goddamn marks get your way where it doesn't occur. Possibly as a condition of him joining TKO Holdings Board of Directors. That means you guys are fucked. Go cry somewhere else. Cry watching AEW and whoever the fuck they got. Meanwhile, last night we did have Monday Night Raw. I'm just going to take a look at some of the matches for you. Look, look I'm, I'm not going to go in depth on this. You guys saw it and there's plenty of other people doing in depth reviews. Plenty of people doing in-depth reviews. Now, last night, they started off with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins came out here looking like a faggot-ass macho man. I, I don't understand Seth Rollins wearing... And I do agree with Becky Lynch. He, I mean, with Roman Reigns. He is wearing his wife's clothes. I love Seth Rollins in the ring. I think he's the next Shawn... He's the current-day Shawn Michaels. But goddamn, man. This outfit is what it is. Cody Rhodes came out there. They had their moment. Drew McIntyre came out there. And I love Drew McIntyre right now. Drew McIntyre, at the end of this, he was pissed off. He headbutted the shit out of Seth Rollins. Cody Rhodes fought him off. 
So you're seeing Seth and Cody kind of, you know, nothing really occurred. But I think that we may be looking at a triple threat at WrestleMania. Drew McIntyre, Cody Rhodes, Seth Rollins. I think we may be looking at a triple threat on night one. I do. DIY versus Imperium versus New Day versus the Creed Brothers. This was the number one contender match. Prior to this, I, I texted my boy Upgrade and I said, DIY is going to take this. And they did. DIY took the win. Now, I got to say this, that the Creed Brothers look very fucking good. This was a great matchup. Cody, I mean, Kofi Kingston must have forgot his goddamn gear again. He was wearing like some three ninja, like boxer shorts. I don't know what the fuck that was, right? But ultimately, this was a great matchup. DIY won, won, and I believe they'll be facing um, um, Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate for the number one contendership. Becky Lynch, in a woman's, in a, she qualified for the elimination chamber, chamber. This will be her first elimination chamber. Once again, these people keep jobbing out Shayna Baszler, making her look like complete trash. This was an all right match. But it's just it, it's just crazy. Becky Lynch is going to win the Elimination Chamber. Let's be honest. We're getting Becky Lynch and Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Rhea Ripley comes out and just is filler to lead to WrestleMania. She's calling out Nia Jax. They're going to face at the Elimination Chamber. That's what Adam Pearce said. Meanwhile, Maya, Nia Jax came out there, fought with Rhea Ripley. You know how it goes. Maxine Dupree and Akira Dozawa with Alpha Academy versus Valhalla. And Ivar in a mixed tag team match. Ivar and Valhalla win. I like the way they are pushing Valhalla. Obviously, Tozawa's, you know, a consistent jobber. JD McDonough and Ray Dominic Mysterio make their way down to the ring. The Miz is also out there. The Miz does get the win here. Our truth, this our truth and judgment day shit is really fucking funny, man. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. Truth hops up on the apron, hands McDonough his cuts of the merch profits, opens the door for the Miz to hit the skull cushion finale. After the match, Truth collects the money, scattered. I do think our truth is funny. I just think this is just jobber central. It has no point on Raw. Not really. Um, Dominic yells at him for messing shit up. At Adam Pierce's office, we got Imperium making sure that everything is ready for Gunther's Intercontinental Championship celebration. Pierce tells them to leave seeing as he's meeting before Braun Breaker walks in. He has a meeting, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, so Braun Breaker's talking with him about a potential Raw contract, as we all know. Guter comes out. They do their celebration. Jay Uso comes out. Jay tells fans he's in their city doing all the, you know, jive ass shit. Gunther says he understands his simple gestures for a simple audience. Exactly, Gunther. Exactly. He says the last time they saw each other, Gunther eliminated him from the Royal Rumble. He says he senses disrespect in Jay. He's going to whoop some ass. And Jay says he sees the work Gunther has put in. He acknowledges Gunther being the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, and Gunther says he appreciates it. He says Jay holds the record for being the longest reigning Tag Team Champion of all time, which is true, and only had to put in 50% of the work, also true. He says he's confused, but he achieved becoming the longest reigning title holder on his own. And Jay rattles off his accomplishments. And he says uh, he wants to become the new Intercontinental Championship. Guter says Jay is finally achieving something for himself and says he isn't the first or last to ride his coattails. He says he'll beat him worse than his own family ever did. Beat you more than your family, boy. Jay and Guter begin to brawl. Kaiser and Da Vinci overpowered him. New Day runs out to help Jay. So we're going to probably get that matchup. I hope it's not. I hope it's on Raw, man. That better not be the WrestleMania Gunther matchup, man. I'm going to be so goddamn disturbed. We got the Tag Team Championship as the Kabuki Warriors are going to defend it against the former champions. They get the win. Caden Carter and uh, uh, Katana Chance lose. Uh, the elbow from... Uh, Kerry Zane got the win. Then we got the bull rope match. Cody Rhodes defeats Shinsuke Nakamura. After the match, McIntyre blindsides Rhodes. By the way, Rhodes had uh, stitches after this and fires off right hands on him and follows up with a Claymore kick. Show goes off there. There's, there. I really like the character work that they're doing with Drew McIntyre. I think that's fucking awesome. Guys, we got... NXT stars contract reportedly set to expire. Basically, we got d -Jack. Uh, T-Bar I don't know if they're going to re-sign T-Bar or not 
I, I genuinely don't. You know, it depends if it becomes cheap. I actually think Tibor has a lot. Dijak, Dijak, uh, Donovan Dejakova. I actually think he has a lot of talent, but he's also 36 years old in NXT. I don't know for sure if they're ever going to give him a solid run. What I think they should do with Dijak is make him like a diesel. Put him with someone, put him with someone and make Dijak, Dijak kind of a bodyguard, right? I think that would work. He had a great matchup with Joe Gacy on Sunday night. Uh, Joe, Joe Gacy, who I do like. I think he's the next kind of Bray Wyatt type person. Guys, AEW, them losers, are announcing the price drop for the Garbage Ass Fight Forever video game. It's dropped from $59.99 to $29.99. <laughs> Literally the worst wrestling game ever created. Possible plans for Jey Uso's WWE Intercontinental ambitions. We all saw and we all read what I just got done telling you. While speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, Brian Alvarez mentioned that Gunther would defend his Intercontinental Championship against Uso at Elimination Chamber. Isn't Gunther prohibited from leaving the country? I don't know. I think I think uh, Alvarez may have this wrong. I could be wrong. Meanwhile, CM Punk is being eyed for WWE commentary duties during his recovery. I think that's a good position for him. Uh, he did have successful surgery on his triceps. Meanwhile, the WWE is hiring new creative writers um, to help with the writing staff. Um, CM Punk, man, injury prone. You cannot put the WWE or world title on CM Punk. CM Punk gets injured every match he goes out. That seven years away from wrestling killed CM Punk. I love Punk, but let's just call it what it is. He's injury prone. He's brittle. He's frail. Anybody that saw him in the Royal Rumble knows that he just doesn't have it anymore. He's too old and he's too frail. That's the truth. Everybody loves CM Punk, and I do too. I agree. But he's, his body cannot hold up to this shit no more. Guys, that's today's news. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I know I'm going to get to Cody fans. And listen, I don't know. You're, you're preaching to the choir. I'm a Cody fan. I just don't think he should beat Roman Reigns. He is going to beat Roman Reigns. But I just don't think that he's a better fit for a WrestleMania main event than The Rock that they paid $30 million to. And that ticket sales are soaring since The Rock came back. <laughs> Sounds to me like they know what they're doing. Sounds to me like I know what they're doing. The only question is, do you marks know what they're doing? Just, ki just curious. Guys, love y'all. See y'all next time. Shout out to y'all Stardust fans. <laughs> See y'all next time. Peace.